vs. Lecek prediction, team news, lineups. Early season strugglers Udinese welcome Lecce to the Dacia Arena for a Serie A encounter on Monday evening. Still winless so far this season. Andrea Sottel is on thin ice in the Udinese hot seat, and they need points soon before a daunting November fixture list. Udinese enter the Serie A weekend down in 17th, just one point above the relegation zone with the sides above them already moving a fair way clear. The club's rapid demise is extraordinary considering this time last year they were right up near the summit, rivaling Napoli as the two sides who made the best starts to the 2022-23 campaign. While Udinese defeats came against strong opponents such as Juventus, Napoli, and Fiorentina, the manner of the games they have failed to win has been the major disappointment. Failure to beat an Empoli side who has lost six of their seven matches prior to their meeting last time out illustrates how much Udinese are underperforming. That uneventful 0-0 draw was the side's third of the season already. With the others coming in equally frustrating circumstances against newly promoted pair Frosinone and Colliery. An awful finish to last season has seemingly carried on into the new campaign. As Udinese previous 12 Serie A games have resulted in 5 draws and 7 defeats. Lecce are up next before a trip to Monza in a week's time, and Sottel desperately needs 2 wins because their 3 fixtures in November match them up with Atlanta here at the Dacia. As well as away trips to AC Milan and Roma. After guiding Lecce to a position in the top 4 early in the campaign, Roberto De Versa has had some difficulty in maintaining that strong start. A draw with Sassuolo shortly before the international break did at least stop them from extending their losing run to three games, after coming up well short in clashes against Juventus and Napoli. Away form appears to be a slight worry though, as they are yet to win in any of their three games on the road, having drawn with Monza and Fiorentina on top of that defeat in Turin. Lecce remain in the top half for the time being though, and that in itself is a fantastic achievement ahead of sides such as Roma and Lazio. Diverse S side enter the weekend just one point behind Atlanta BC and two short of Napoli. So if they can rediscover that early season form, then the Giallarossa could start putting the pressure back on some of Serie A's underperforming clubs. Like their upcoming opponents. Lecce will also be targeting their next two league fixtures, with Torino up next after this one as their following two matches pit them against Roma and Milan too. Gerard Dolafu remains the big miss in the Udinese ranks as he recovers from a knee injury. New attacking imports Brenner and Kanan Davis are both yet to feature since joining over the summer as the potential replacements for the outgoing Beto. Sottle will also be without defensive trio Kingsley Ahizabu ACL. Adam Messina Mussel and Enzo Abosni for this visit of Lecce. Newen Perez, after being booked in two of Udinese's previous three league games, was sent off in a friendly with Rijeka over the international break but should still start. Returning from a domestic suspension is Sandy Lovric, but the Slovenian was surprisingly given very little game time during the break, playing just 16 minutes as a substitute against Northern Ireland on Tuesday. Lecce's injury worries concern Lamek Bonda, Castriot Dermaku both thigh and Alexis Blind foot, with the trio set to miss out here. Albanian duo Ilber Ramadani and Medan Berisha enjoyed international success over the past week. As the former helped the senior squad one step closer to Euro 2024, while the latter scored to move their under-21 side to the top of their qualifying section. Udinese possible starting lineup. Silvestri, Perez, Fijal, Cabasili, Ebasil, Samardzic, Lavric, Pereira, Kamara, Thavin, Luca. Lecce possible starting lineup. Falcone, Gendry, Pongrasic, Fascarado, Gallo. Kaba, Ramadani, Refia, Omkvist, Kristovic, Gabriel Strafetza. We say, Udinese 1 1 Lecce. Lecce took four points off Udinese last season despite finishing ten points behind them in the final standings. And another draw between the sides here at the Dacia Arena looks likely. All five of Udinese's points so far have come via draws, and while arguably stronger on paper, lingering injuries mean the hosts are likely to stay near the bottom for the time being. 
Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.